what is a hemoglobin A1C, what should your number be, what's normal, what's not normal, and how do we use it? Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. It's good to see you. Okay, hemoglobin A1C sometimes is also referred to as HbA1c or A1c. And basically, a hemoglobin A1c is a three-month average of your blood sugars. That's right. And when we get the blood test to check the A1C or hemoglobin A1C, the result comes out as a percentage. So 5%, 7%, 10%, should be very high. I'm going to explain. What that percentage is, is it's basically representing the amount of sugar that is attached to your hemoglobin, which is a part of red blood cells, over time. That three-month average of sugar in your blood. Now, you might say, well, why wouldn't my doctor just check like a finger stick or get a fasting blood sugar? And by the way, we're doing that stuff too. But remember, when you get a finger stick or just we prick your finger and we check your sugar in that moment, whether you're fasting or not, we are only getting one sugar at one point in time. Before breakfast, after breakfast, blah, 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 it's only one point of data. When we get the hemoglobin A1C, we are getting essentially an average of three months of data. And in many cases, that is far more helpful than just one point of data. Now let's talk about what's normal and what's not. When it comes to diagnosing you based on the hemoglobin A1C, there is a range, okay? This is the chart. When it comes to diagnosis, you are not pre-diabetic and you are not diabetic if your A1C is 5.6% and below. If your A1C is between 5.7% and 6.4%, this range is pre-diabetic. Sometimes we call it borderline diabetes, at risk for diabetes, and lots of different terms. If your A1C is 6.5% and higher, you will be diagnosed as being diabetic. That's the, the scale that we use for diagnosis, and this is why this number is important. I have many patients that come in, in fact, I saw patients today, that are in the pre-diabetic range. Now, if you are pre-diabetic, the good thing about that is you know, and you can implement healthy diet and lifestyle changes to hopefully bring that number down. I have a whole video playlist on YouTube about diabetes. I'll make sure I link it here. If you're watching on Facebook, just ask for the, the link and I'll, I'll write it in the comments, okay? Now, let's talk about how else this A1C is used. It's not just for diagnosing diabetes, but it's also for keeping track of whether your diabetes is controlled once you've been diagnosed. So if you already are diabetic, you've been diagnosed, you're on medications, what have you, oftentimes our goal A1C is less than 7%. Now that is not for everyone, but I'd say for most people, okay? Less than 7%. If you're in the less than 7% range, we're saying, okay, your numbers are doing good. You're doing great. Now, there are some people who might be brittle diabetics or maybe their sugars are very labile or they have very complicated medical history or other things that we may say, hey, if you have an A1C less than 7.5%, as an example, you are good. So every now and then that scale will be tweaked. But understand what your doctor is looking at to see if you are controlled is that usually that three month average and usually we're looking for less than 7%. I want you to know that if you've been diagnosed with prediabetes or diabetes, there's a lot you can do about it. And even though diabetes is something that we don't think is reversible, it can go into remission. And you also can keep yourself, uh, if you are prediabetic, from becoming diabetic. I have a number of videos. I want you to take a look at them. Just understand what the A1C is and why it is so important. Let me know what you think about this video. Share this video with other people. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, WhatsApp. You name it. Uh, find me at drjencaudill.com on my website. Guys, I'll talk to you soon.